What's the big C word, right? Nobody likes to have diabetes, but nobody wants to get cancer. And what's really interesting, the, the least well-known complication of diabetes is actually cancer. It was a big study that was published in 2013 by the journal Diabetes Care, arguably the number one journal for diabetes management in the world. And they did a study that included over 29,000 individuals. And they found that in a very short amount of time, those individuals that were on insulin were at a much higher risk of developing cancer. 30% increased risk just because they were on insulin. That created an outcry in the diabetes management community. What's going on here? But we've actually known that excess insulin, this is the key, excess insulin it has been strongly associated with many common cancers for over 40 years in the medical literature. So uh, using just the right amount of insulin for what your body isn't producing is fine. But if you're using extra insulin as an excuse not to go walking after meals, not to pay attention to your diet, not to focus on lifestyle approaches that improve insulin sensitivity, that extra insulin is actually increasing increasing risk for heart disease, hypertension, kidney problems, but especially cancer. Now we understand. Now, someone with prediabetes, they've, they're not getting medications, they don't have diabetes yet, but their insulin levels are all, already up there, trying to drive the slightly high sugar down and not achieving it because they've got their insulin resistance. Are they also at risk? I believe so. In fact, there's many studies showing that there's a much higher risk of prostate cancer in men who have metabolic syndrome, which is essentially insulin resistant syndrome, where their bodies may be controlling blood sugars acceptably, but the trade-off is that the pancreas has to produce a tremendous amount of insulin in order to compensate for controlling blood sugars. That extra insulin even though it's not injected, it's being produced by the body's own pancreas, is still increasing risk for cancer. After all, extra insulin is a hormone that is a powerful growth factor and it stimulates the initiation and the growth of cancer. You're right, as an OBGYN, caring for women with diabetes and pregnancy, they shunt a lot more glucose to their fetus, their fetus puts out a lot more insulin in response and those babies grow because insulin acts like a growth hormone to those babies. Now, we're talking about cancer. Is it cancer a particular kind of cancer, or is this cancer in general? Well, it's interesting that the study published by Diabetes Care Journal showed that it actually increases most of the common cancers. Colon cancer in men is increased by threefold in those who've had diabetes for 15 or more years. Uh, reproductive cancers, breast cancer, uh, increased by more than twofold in women who've had diabetes more than 15 years. Skin cancer, interestingly enough, up 60% in men and 120% in women. Even melanoma and urinary tract cancers go up when they're exposed to diabetes for many years. And so that's all the more reason to start studying what are the ways that we can potentially reverse this uh, through comprehensive lifestyle strategies that can be very fundamental, very basic, but powerful in not just controlling blood sugars, as important as that is, but actually dramatically lowering your risk of common cancers.